This time, let's try to draw some functional groups. Let's start again with a continuous drawing button. Press on carbon and let's have maybe five carbon in our parent chain. Okay, let's clean that up. We could also generate the name. Look at the button for generate name for structure. Okay, so this one is a pentane. Okay, let's try to remove this one first. Click on that. Press escape so you return to your cursor. Let's try to add an alcohol. So let's press on oxygen anywhere in your chain, any of the carbon. Let's try to look at the last carbon here. We press on C of this metal group and this will become an OH group. So now we have only four carbons and uh, an OH group at the terminal end. Hmm. How about if we don't do that? Let's just maintain five carbons and add OH to it. Let's undo this. So to do that, press on C and then, okay, extend your bond so that you would attach your OH group. So we maintain the five carbon in our parent chain and your functional group OH added. Let's clean that up and we could generate again another name for this. So this will become pentan one all. Okay, that's good. Okay, I don't like an alcohol. Perhaps I would like an aldehyde instead. So I still have the cursor. Just point at carbon that you wish to change into an aldehyde and then extend that to your oxygen. There. Okay. So we have an aldehyde now. So we have a pentanol. This time, we'd like to have an aldehyde instead of an alcohol. So we press on O, then we click on this carbon, continuous press, connect it to the oxygen of OH, and release. There you have your C double bond O at the end of your chain. So this one is an example of an aldehyde. Let's make a carboxylic acid. It's going to be easy, so press again on O, make sure you're there, click on this carbon, extend, and there you have your OH. Clean it up. We could give also a name for this. So this is a pentanoic acid. Okay, this time let's have an example of an ether. But before we do that, let me show you. If I press on carbon, you would see that my arrow would be beside a carbon bonded to another carbon but you would see that the other carbon is color black so it's highlighted black if i right click my mouse i would remove the highlight black with that c and that would enable us to draw an ether so let's have an example Let's go back to clicking that into highlight, regular cursor. So I go back to C and continuous drawing. So let's have perhaps a parent chain with five carbons in it. Clean that up. If I have my cursor together with the C to C and one of my C is color black, if I go to oxygen, I press on, for example, this carbon number two here, and I would be attaching the carbon to oxygen attached to a hydrogen. And I actually don't want to do that because what I wanted to have is to change one of my carbon to become an oxygen so that I would have an ether instead. So it's so easy. So I'll just 
look at your cursor, right click, so the black around the carbon will disappear. So we still press on oxygen. Anywhere in the molecule that you would like to have an ether appear. For example, carbon number three. So I just click on this carbon and this automatically become an oxygen. So I have here an example of another functional group appearing together with an alcohol. So I have here an ether. Aside from carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, it will also attach other atoms. Like for example, we want to attach chlorine. Maybe here in carbon number four, we could attach chlorine. Okay. Or we could also attach maybe a benzene ring, for example. Here, so we get a benzene ring. And click on the carbon that you would like to attach your benzene ring to have it here in carbon 1 or even carbon 2 or maybe here in carbon in the last carbon okay so just click and there you have it. escape